And a major winter storm is setting the stage for heavy snow in the Northeast. Mike Seidel has a live report from the Washington, D.C. metro area. In addition, Mark, we're seeing sleet, freezing rain in much of the triad of North Carolina. Light snow is on tap for the Midwest, and more heavy rain targets California. Hello again. Welcome to Weather Center. I'm Bill Keneally. Thanks again for joining us. And I'm Mark Mancuso. Our top story today is that snow and ice are heading its way through the mid-Atlantic, taking aim on the Northeast. Could impact your evening commute in New York City. One place that will see snows come in a hurry today is Philadelphia. Right now, just cloudy and cold. And when that snow comes, it will come in a burst that could quickly accumulate up to four inches. And that would make for a disastrous evening rush hour. Setting the stage here, cold Arctic high pressure building into the northeastern United States. Here you can see along the coast and through the mid-Atlantic, temperatures have dropped anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees from yesterday at this time. So cold and also dry air is moving into the picture here. Dew points below zero from New York City northward. All this cold air coming right down through Virginia and it's dry. So as the moisture moves in, we're seeing that burst of snow. Yesterday, in contrast, we were in the 40s, 50s, and 60s here. Today, though, we are running in the teens in Boston, 20s in New York City, and Washington, D.C. Looking at the satellite, sunshine in eastern New England with all that high pressure. Clouds, though, moving rapidly up through the mid-Atlantic states. And here we'll see the snow and the ice making for terrible traveling conditions here. Well, here comes the snow right up into northern Virginia. Here's Mike Seidel. Mike, how's it looking? Hey, Mark, the snow kicked in a few minutes before 11, and look how quickly it's covered up the roadways here in Old Town Alexandria. We're out here on King Street, and uh, I haven't seen any salt trucks come by, so I, I'm assuming these streets are untreated, but a lot of snow sticking to the roadways. Watch these streets and the neighborhood streets. As far as schools go, most schools in the district and in uh, Northern Virginia and the Maryland suburbs, PG County, Montgomery County, just about everything is closing two to three hours earlier uh, than normal. As far as Reagan National, they closed down briefly to pre-treat the runway. They're now back open, but expect uh, holding if you're trying to get into Washington, BWI or uh, Dulles Airport and uh, there could be some ground uh, delays later. As far as the snow goes, it's coming down harder now, and we're really making up this time because so far in February, we've only had a trace of snow. That's it. Now, that's officially at National. I know those of you north and west of town have had more. You've had to shovel some snow. Typically in February, we see 6.3 inches at National Airport. 26 degrees here, 25 at Dulles, 25 at BWI. Take it easy on the roadways, but this snow is going to be in and out very, very quickly, but it will impact your early evening rush hour. Now let's check in with our winter weather expert and get the latest on the accumulations and how quickly it's going to be over with. Here's Paul Cosin. Paul? Well, it's sort of amazing how quickly the storm system is moving. It gets in in a hurry, it snows hard in a hurry, and then it ends in a hurry. So the storm system is really going to take off once it's offshore, but its effect on land will be quick and fortunately very brief. Let's take a look right now at the satellite picture. What's happening is we have a very strong upper level jet stream with this strong disturbance. And as it reaches the base of the trough, moving of the upper level trough that's spawning this particular storm, the storm system will really rock it out towards the northeast. And that's where we'll start to get the real development with this system, where snowfall over the ocean is going to be lasting for quite a considerable period of time. But this initial burst of snow is very fast, very heavy, extends all the way from Pennsylvania southward into Virginia. And remember, it's mostly the heaviest snow is often found on the western edge of where the highest clouds are. So don't just because the edge of the clouds are moving off, it's not ending in Washington, it's actually just beginning. But it isn't that far to the west that we'll see the end of the snowfall. Let's take a closer look now at the radar and we can see what we're mean. Now it looks like the precipitation is actually even drying out as it's crossing the Appalachians, but the heaviest snow right now in a band through Richmond, Virginia, most of this down in here is significant freezing rain, so icing on top of the snow. And what we're seeing is this heavy band of snowfall that's going to be moving off to the northeast. And basically, I'd say the majority of the snow is going to fall in a probably about a three-hour period. So with that, we should probably lower our snowfall accumulations from this. But it will be a significant period of snowfall that will have uh, total snowfall accumulations on the order of about three to six inches, maybe on the lower end of that, from Washington through Philadelphia through this afternoon. As a matter of fact, by the rush hour this evening, 
In Washington, the snow may have ended for quite a while, but cleanup efforts may make it a little bit better. But uh, Philadelphia, look for that snow to really begin during the rush hour in New York later on, but snowfall amounts on the order of two to four inches, one to three in Boston later. We'll be following it. Let's turn it back to Mark. And uh, right now, some very heavy precipitation coming into southeast Virginia. Thunder, snow, and sleet coming into the tide water as this burst of precipitation moves rapidly to the east. Here's a look at the radar. Heavier snows uh, headed up through southern Pennsylvania, Altoona, Johnstown, right down to the suburbs of Washington, D.C., and into Richmond, Virginia. Here are the current conditions showing you the snow moving in into the Washington, D.C. area from the west. Snow is just beginning now in Baltimore, Maryland. This afternoon, well, we expect that snow to overspread the area three to six inches likely. Up the road in Philadelphia, the snow comes in this afternoon. Looks like we'll see two to four inches, uh, making for a rough evening commute. Looks like at the tail end of the commute in New York City, snow comes up from the southwest, one to three inches here. Boston will wait till dark, so no problems as we head home from work today. Bill? Hey, Mark, skies are stormy this morning in a lot of North Carolina. In the Raleigh area, we've had a wide variety, too, of snow and freezing rain and sleet. Time now to watch two storm systems across the country. One is bringing some snow into D.C., Philadelphia, and throughout southern New Jersey. Another one is bringing some snow around Lake Tahoe with rain across the Sacramento Valley. We can show you this one on the water vapor loop, and this one is going to be really affecting not only the southwest, but the central portion of the country as we go through the day tomorrow. Meanwhile, this one across the uh, mid-Atlantic coast is bringing some snow and it has been a little on the heavier side. Just to the south of Washington, D.C., around Quantico, we're getting reports of some heavy snow. Looks like it should be ending within the next few hours, and then we will be seeing some improvement throughout the roadways across, a, especially along 95 throughout Virginia. Snowing right now for you and through Fredericksburg. We find that snow across the Delmarva Peninsula as we look in a little bit closer. And through Fredericksburg, Quantico, getting reports of some heavy snow. Snowing lightly across Washington, D.C. and into Baltimore. Then we jump over to the Delmarva Peninsula into Salisbury getting some heavy snow being reported around Dover and through Willing, uh, Wilmington. We're getting some snow being reported a little on the heavier side. And here across central New Jersey, visibility down to less than a mile in many locations. Snowing on the heavier side and through uh, New Atlantic City, um, some light snow developing in through Philadelphia. We think uh, the heaviest amount of snow we'll find from a band across uh, southern New Jersey all the way into the Delmarva Peninsula where we could see maybe three to six inches of snow. As we move into portions of the south, we're dealing with a little... Best accumulations though in the big cities will be very light, uh, maybe an inch or less. As we take a look at the surface features for you, there's the snow. That's uh, moving rapidly out of Illinois. And